Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another testing video. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and test out the assault rifle category. So if I go here in my inventory, as you can see, I have crafted each and every single assault rifle available in my game currently. So there are currently 12 assault rifles, which were a pain in the butt to make, but still it's here. Now, each and every single one of these are augmented the same. They have one bio converter to eliminate the reload time and kinetic coils in the other augmentation slots. Now, I know a lot of people had some concerns regarding my testing methodology and a lot of people recommended I just test out the weapons without any additional modding or augmentations or even buffs from abilities. But since the purpose of this series is to test out the reliability and the damage of a weapon on the highest difficulty possible, I believe that it is the best course of action to actually use it in a real life scenario. Now, no Normally, it's really hard to do a proper single DPS test in Mass Effect Andromeda because we don't really have test targets. So for example, you might be wondering why I'm putting augmentations on weapons, especially since not all the weapons from the same category have the same amount of augmentation slots. The reason behind it is really simple. When you plan out to use a weapon, you don't just take out its base damage into account. You're also accounting for every single bonus that it can possibly give you. So if for example two weapons from the same category have a similar amount of base damage but one of them has more augmentation slots than the other one then obviously you're going to go with the one that gives you the best possible course of action. So this is just something that you'll have to keep in mind. I'm not just going to test out the base damage of the weapons. The intended purpose of this series is to test out which weapon has the best potential on insanity given the best circumstances. On top of that, I believe that the testing is quite representative of the current state of the weapons in Mass Effect Andromeda, so even the order of the DPS that you see here in the game is still going to be representative, even if, for example, the raw numbers might differ depending on the buffs or augmentations which you apply. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the testing.
Okay, so the test results are in and there's quite a big surprise over here on the first place. I didn't actually expect anything other than the Valkyrie to be on the first place, but Thoken took the crown over here. It's by far the best assault rifle in the game according to my testing. So regardless of the type of build that you're going to use or regardless of your testing methodology, I strongly believe that you will get a similar result or at least a similar order that I have. So so Thoken is the first place, Valkyr and Sond on the second and the third place, really close to each other, way closer than I would have ever imagined. Only a fraction of a second is between those two. Um, Valkyrie is still ahead of Sond and in most scenarios it will pull ahead of it because Valkyr has way better precision than Sond. And compared to the shotgun category, as you can see here, the shotgun category is way ahead of the assault rifles. Unfortunately, that is the case. Um, people already knew that and it's kind of uh, reassuring to see actual numbers. So this was basically the testing. I know it's not perfect and honestly, it's really hard to find a perfect scenario to test the DPS in Mass Effect Andromeda unless I somehow get a testing target and a DPS meter. But otherwise, this should be representative of the current state of weaponry in Mass Effect Andromeda. So regardless of your build, regardless of your skill choice and augmentations, you're still going to see similar results and the damage order which you see here is still going to be applicable no matter what you're going to be testing on. So I hope you guys found this video informative and enjoyable. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't, then don't. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So peace out.